How you doing? You're good. You gotta put that tag where you can be seen, it ain't no good there. Oh, okay. I, I was going to make a bracket, but I just never got around to it. And I had another cop tell me something like, he didn't really know, but he said it was all right because you could see it from 14 feet or whatever. No, it's, I mean, it's longer than that. Here's the thing. When people see you riding through town, they see the dirt bike with no tag on it. And that's why they turn on you, because you can't see that tag. If you want to keep cops from tagging you and turning on you, you got to get that tag where we can see it. All right. Okay, so find some way to... If you can hook it off this, you can find a way to drill it and put it there, but we've got to be able to see it because when you pass and go by, you can't see that tag. I'll give you that. Yeah, it does look like a damn dirt bike. Well, it is. I mean, that's well, exactly it is a damn dirt bike. But... Right, exactly. And, you know, you know, with the hand controls and stuff like that, you know, we let you get away with hand controls around here, but it's supposed to have turn signals and all that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But get the tag where we can see it. All right, okay. yeah. I was thinking about building something on right there. Get that, or if you can hook it without turning up your plastic. That, that's what I was trying, but I couldn't figure it out, and I just got these stickers, and I didn't want to drill through my stickers that I just got. I mean, I got you, but there ought to be something here if you can't hook at the metal that you can see it, but that's too far back up in there. Because if I'm behind you, if I was there, I can't see it. Yeah, it's vertical, too, and that don't help. Well, that, that doesn't bother me as much as the fact can't be seen. Everybody says it's right the dirt bike without a, without a tag. All right. Got it? That's fair. All right. No All right, problem. cool. Let me run that tag real quick. All right. I do. Alright, so I'm gonna scratch out one ticket, alright? Because you got it, but it's gotta be visible. Alright. Alright. If you do that, you'd save a bunch of cops turning on you. That happens all the time. I know it does. <laughs> I'm sure you hear about me. Well, somebody said, that, yeah, he runs and does this, does that. And I said, well, can you see? You gotta see a tag. And I'm like, well, if you can't see a tag, it gives you reason to stop you. Yeah. And when police stop you, they tag where they can see it when you go by. Got gotcha. Alright, all right, cool. They say you've been running from cops and going behind houses and stuff. Quit doing that. Some of them get hurt. Quit doing that. Well, whoever's pulling you over, they said that this motorcycle they're chasing, unless there's another one that's got the green stickers on it. Have you been running? Now, here's the deal. I don't think so. I mean, my whole... I, mean, I didn't think I was running. Well, if you duck in the backyards and stuff, because I got guys calling me, that guy, man, he's running from the city, he's doing that. So they're calling me on the phone. I said, well, I'd ride him. I said, well, I'm going to give you a warning because you didn't run from me. Yeah, I, mean, I don't run from the. If you light me up, I'm going over. Okay. Like, I'll run from the security guard. Is there? I know, but is there some other guy that's got a green bike like this for running? There's around? a green bike in town, but he's like 40. I don't know. But I don't. I don't run. Okay. All right. Oh. Somebody said you were running. There you go. What's the part? City. You've been running from the city boys. They told me you were all the time. Okay. All right. Just I, I'm, I'm just going by what they say because I don't know. All, all right. right. Yeah, all yeah, right. yeah. Okay. That's all. Right. Right. There's your morning. Listen. Side view mirrors and all that. You gotta have some side view mirrors on. I got, I got one on here. You got one right there. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, mean, I get you, yeah, but a little minimal. We'll get you some bicycle mirrors, some big ones, with some things on the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See you going down the road. All right, right. right. Just, dude, be careful. All right, all right. Yes, sir. All right, see you later. What's going on, sir? Cameras reporting audio and video needs driver's license registration. Yes, sir. Can I put my kickstand down and everything? Yes, sir. Registration. Still based at Andrews? Yes, sir. Brings you down this way today. I'm um, just going on a ride. Just got done with a ride out here with a group of mine. Yeah, hey, back now? Yes, sir. Okay. Why didn't you get on 50? Uh, I just wanted to take like a more back roads and uh, I was going to pull up to this gas station here, get some gas. Okay. 40 mile per hour speed limit there on the back road. Yes, sir. And the fastest I had you was 58, so you're kind of kicking it pretty good down there. Yes, sir. Just hang tight, I'll be back. Yes, sir. Alright, buddy. Just a warning, there's no fines. Nothing for you to do. You don't get no points or anything like that. Just shows that you got to stop for speeding, okay? Yes, sir. So just be more careful there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Got pulled over by a cop. 
What's up, bud? Parkview and Lead with an unlicensed route. How's it going, man? It's a going. Hold on, let me get my ID out for you. So where are you headed to? I'm just cruising around the neighborhood. I live around. Okay. You can't have this thing on the road without registration, insurance, meaning a license plate and everything. And it's actually, under uh, 99 cc's. It doesn't matter. It's really? gas powered. It's not human powered or an electric mobile. What was the whole lot with the uh, 49 cc's? Something somebody made up a long time ago, I guess, to sell scooters. Really? Yeah. Well, here's my license. Do you have a motorcycle endorsement or anything? No, I don't. Okay. Just a license. It's a mini bike, so it's not classified as a motorcycle. It's got two wheels in the state of Arizona, and you're riding it with a gas powered engine. And it's a motorcycle. Really? Yep. Just I didn't know that. Motorcycle. Seriously, yep. because it's under a mini bike, like I had no idea. Nope. Got to have registration. Got to have insurance. You have to have a motorcycle endorsement. All right, cool deal. Valid I was actually wondering about that. <laughs> you found out. Yeah. Can you keep your hand out of your pocket for him, bud? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't absolutely. Have any on you or anything like that, right? No, 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 no. Okay. Nice bike, by the way, dude. Yeah, I actually just got the uh, the 212 Harbor Freight on this. The engine? Yeah. It had the uh, stock three horse on it. I was like, dude, that thing's so weak, dude. It... Oh, sorry. Again, with the pocket. Uh, but the, the, the engine was just so weak, dude. I couldn't do nothing with it. So I'm like, I got the Harbor two, uh, 212 Harbor Freight engine on there. These things are rockets if you actually get all the uh, stage three uh, on them. What's it, like 15 horse now or what? Uh, I want to say about 15 to 20. I honestly had no idea, like, the whole uh, law with the uh, mini bikes on the road. Like, I can actually get this registered? Yes. The MVD will issue a registration for it. Dude, that is so cool. But there's still certain restrictions on where you can drive it. And could you tell me where I'm allowed to drive it if I got it registered? Uh, you'd have to talk to them because it's at like a 25 mile per hour zone kind of thing. See if I can get a good picture of them in here but it's kind of tore up yeah it's the first exhaust i had on it came straight up over the uh exhaust uh, i mean the uh the frame mm -hmm. and it was just it was just the stock three horse and i was doing a lot of mobbing on that thing dude but like seriously once i got the uh the 212 the uh the stock three horse uh aftermarket pipe that is made for the three horse will not fit and adapt to the uh 212 so i had to get everything uh um, totally revamped Dear God, please tell me phone this is just a warning, right? What's your phone number? Uh, 715. Well, here's what's going to happen, man. Um, I'm going to write you a citation just for not having registration. Uh, and I'm going to write you a warning for the rest of the stuff. But awesome. Really, I can write you a citation, actually arrest you for not having e. the driver's license and driving that. Because you have to have a motorcycle endorsement. But it's a but mini bike. Gonna, exactly. I'm not going to go through all that. Right. I'm just going to cut you a warning on that stuff. Okay? Awesome, dude. 39DR. Yeah. All right, so I will actually, to get that annulled, I will have to, do I have to go to court? Yes, if you want to fight it in court. No, 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 I'm not saying fight it. I'm just saying, do I have to go to court? You don't have to. You could just flat out pay it if you want it. And what's the uh, citation? Uh, it's, I think, $165. Are you serious? I am serious. But if I wrote you for everything, we'd be talking near $2,000. Wow, dude. So. $160 citation for no mini bike registration. Are you serious? Yes, sir. You're operating on a public roadway. Well, I've asked the officers in the past and they said they didn't have any issues with it. Why are all of a sudden do I have an issue with you on this? Maybe you asked the wrong officer. I don't know who you asked about it. But they were all in just regular, like whatever the cruiser vehicles they're in. But like they honestly said I wasn't breaking no laws, dude. Good. Well, hey, I seriously appreciate you being cool about it, at least to like. If I could, uh, I'm pretty sure if I actually get the darn thing registered and then I approve registration in the court, they would probably see otherwise, right? They might, but because it's not registered right now and this is the time of the incident, they probably won't. Like I said, I just got you a, a warning here. On, Do I have uh, to sign? On that part. You're not going to have to sign that one. I didn't completely fill it out. I want to get you out of here. All right. The thing is, you're going to need to push the bike from here home, okay? Yeah. I'm going to be down in this area. That's very loud. I'll be able to hear it running again, okay? And well, good news is my uncle's right again. in the area. Literally <laughs> just a block away. Won't be as nice. And please don't ride through school parking lots either anymore. Because I saw that too. Okay. Okay? It's not made to be a pass-through. You're supposed to go around the school when you're driving. Like if you're but if I got it registered... 
still is not made to be a pass-through because it's private property. It's a school. You're not supposed to be driving through there to come across. You're supposed to be going up. Okay, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? So like, it doesn't matter if you're in a car or nothing. It's just it's not yeah. a pass-through. Period. You have until August 28th to take care of this. All right, at 3 p.m. I'm gonna give you an envelope that's gonna detail a, detail a couple different ways to take care of it. All right, without admitting responsibility, you acknowledge receipt of this complaint. I need your signature right there. Yeah, absolutely. So like I said, I think it's $160, $165 for the If I could try to... Yeah. So what you can do is you can appear in person in court, which sounds like that's what you want to do to try to work on um, figuring it out. Right. You can also flat out pay it online or by mail. Okay. The fee schedule is all over here. All right. All righty. the fees are. So that's going to be yours. Give you a copy of this. And you said you're going to call somebody to pick you up? No, no, no. I'm going to, my uncle's just a block down, okay. so I'm going to just try to push it over there. Push it over there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you have hey, a day. Uh, what was your name? I'm Officer Truver. Officer Truver, yeah. and thank nope, you don't for. Shake hands. Huh? Sorry. I don't shake hands. Oh, I didn't know that wasn't allowed. I did the fist bump thing. Okay, cool yeah. deal. Yep. Hey, at least you didn't arrest me or send me to jail, dude. Thank you for that. I need to do that unless you're creating a whole bunch of havoc. Nah, I honestly, I make YouTube videos on this stuff, so like. You're going to be on YouTube. Hey, send me the link, man. All right. It's uh, spikemandan at youtube.com. Well, my email address is, is on there. Ctruver at cityofkingman.gov. All right. Cool deal, right. dude. Take